Okay, lots of changes on uh, I go with GPS. So I thought I'd make a video about some of the changes and just kind of what's what's new and exciting. So we'll hook up uh, an auto steer board to it. Flex port. This has changed. You can select your common input in your bod and here you set your NMEA hertz to whatever your GPS puts out. And then you would just click connect. And that works pretty simple. Now it's all just one line. Hopefully easier to not forget that NMEA hertz. Auto steer and section kind of switch places. And uh, so just rescan the ports. Pick the port off the little board and then just connect. And you can see it communicating good enough. And you can see activity just like the end trip. Uh, if the thing is talking, it just goes back and forth. Hitting the GPS data button now little one guy down there instead of going off the menu that just brings up your GPS data and that's an auto steer button brings up your auto steer settings nice and easy Andreas came up with the idea of just putting this here on the auto steer configuration page it just swings off both sides depending which way you turn the wheels so if it's going the opposite way of your wheels you know you got something wrong and you need to change your wheel angle sensor wheel angle sensor Of course, when you hit the button, that turns off and on. Like engage the steering wheel, that sort of thing. Let's go to manual so that the, the motor turns, or then when you engage the motor, it turns the, the auto steer button on. You set it there. If you're using the simulator, don't turn it on, just stick in manual. So, okay, field. Then not much has changed here other than open the existing. You still have your last field views. You can resume the last, create a new, or open existing. Rather than going into um, Explorer, now you can just, it just brings up the directories here in a list view and pick one and then just use it. Or you can go back and start again and voila, it pops your field when we're going into uh, Explorer. AB line stuff, I already did a video on that. Uh, the AB lines now are saved per field and not globally. So that's changed. Those two, 0 and 90, will always be generated when you create a new field. That's eh, same with curve. Start your A, start your B, save it, enter the name, hit add. So again, that's all the same. If you want to turn it off, just hit turn off. Uh, the other thing is you've got all your boundaries and AB lines and curve lines and everything and you want to duplicate a field and just start another field. I uh, just go to field. <clears throat> this is where we're going to use create new and then enter our new field name. Could be very much the same name, except it just, we'll just append a different date to it. And then we, where do we want to clone from? Which field? I'm going to have to put this into a list view too, so it's a little more convenient. So if we wanted to copy A, B, Curvy there, just pick it, pick the field, go open. And now it'll generate and use all the, the data from that field and start your new one. So all you got to do is, uh, just use the information from that other field. You have your AB lines, your curve lines. Um, everything gets transferred over. So here, when you can see, there's a 42 degree one that we created, the name of it. It's all in there now. So that's that saves you having to recreate, recreate a bunch of stuff. Uh, make boundary contours. This has changed. There were some requests about being able to create that first pass say three in so now you can do that depending on where you want to start just choose the pass number and that's where you start if you want four just let me know it's pretty bad uh spacing this is how far the edge of your implement is away from the boundary now you can set that that's in centimeters it goes up to a meter 100 centimeters if that's not big enough let me know we can make it 10 meters if you want so there it creates the boundary. So we've seen how to just drive around and just follow around and make it. So now it'll be, if you set it for three, it'll be three passes in. Put the change direction button over here now between the, the auto steer buttons. Or sorry, between the, uh, the U-turn buttons. And the other thing changed is move these guys around. 
Andrea suggested this too, that, you know, put the, put the boxes where the actual measurements are. So it's a little more intuitive, like the pivot where the pivot is, wheelbase where wheel is, hitch where hitch is, kind of a tools attached, and then like your minimum turn radius and that sort of thing. So yeah, the, the steering now, this is up all the time, even fields open and closed. Green is to the right, red is to the left, and the little yellow one there, that's your set point. 